Hello, and welcome back to Modern Skyblock 3. So, um, something that has happened in the interim here is I, uh, when I went to load this up, there was a new version available. So I decided to look at it a little bit before, uh, you know, loading things up. And apparently, it is going to be the last version of this pack. Um, and the only reason it was even made, and the, the one I'm currently playing, which is still the version I had up last time, uh, is, you know, you know, not the last version of the pack, is because one of the mods was removed from the site completely, making it so the pack couldn't be downloaded. So I'm going to stick with this version for a little bit, at least, um, because there was a mod entirely removed, um, and I don't know what he did about it. I, at the very least, I'm going to update these, my secondary version of the pack to check it out, see what, you know, if anything has, you know, changed before I commit to it. But... Once again, I'm uh, a little bit behind on things, and I'm recording this day of. So, once again, I'm uh, going to just be kind of doing this thing. What is this? Is this does not have a filter? Okay. Um, so I've set this thing up with some of these specter saplings. I want to see if I can get that to like be a thing. Um, right. So something else I was working on in between here was, as I said. I built out a new area here. I got our uh, molecular assemblers set up. I got two of them set up with, you know, this whole thing here. I've made a line of machines, but they are not yet automated. Um, we'll be doing that shortly. But all of these machines I've been making and all of the upgrades and all of that sort of stuff need gears. Now, I've been making gears in the metal press here, which is all fine and dandy. It's just a little bit difficult to automate, and I'd have to make, a, you know, what, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks in order to, you know, take it over there and automate it. Instead, I'm going to make two items. I'm going to make this guy, the compactor, which, you know, compresses items. Bam, I've got that. Uh, what is this used for? Well, this is used for several things. Um, it, you know, does a bunch of this stuff, which is fine and dandy, which is, but that's not what I'm going to use this one for. I'm going to put in a gear working die and use it to make all the gears. So that will be fun. And speaking of, actually, I probably should have uh, just done this while I had it here. Because I can grab that. And we can go like that. And we can go, let's see, lead plates, iron gear, piston. I don't think I have the piston. Uh, do I have everything? I might not have the plates. I don't have the gear either. All right, so we need some iron. Uh, I can just do this. Do, 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 do. One of the one of you is iron. Iron. I have four of you. We will go ahead and make at least this one last gear this way. And I'm going to need some lead. I need at least two lead for plates. I should probably make a second one of these compactors for plates. I think that's a thing I can use it for. Let's grab the plate press. Swap you out. Go ahead and grab our iron gear. You guys can just go in there and it can do its job. Bam. Bam, and I can hear my uh, diesel generator running again. Oh, I had to, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I had to put in a second cloche for potatoes because I was running low. Uh, our seeds seem to be keeping up, so we'll just kind of leave that for the time being. Uh, what was I doing? Right, I was making a thing. I was making this thing. Bam, augment gear working die. Now, if I'm going to put an augment in, alright, technically I need to make three items, so I need an upgrade kit. Uh, I need specifically this one, which I have all the stuff for. Bam. Done. Alright, let's go set this guy down. I'll fly over here. Pop down. We are going to need to get rid of you. And put in... An energy conduit so that you have power. Pop you down. Then you get that. 
And that. All right, you are now ready for gear working. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and close all those. <clears throat> wow, having a bit of an uh, issue with my uh, uh, you know, throat this morning. Anyway, <clears throat> so that is all set. Now we need to get this automated. Now I'm going to need more of these dense cables because I'm trying to bring them over this way. And then we will start basically just getting all of this stuff run. So let's do that. Let's get some more stuff for the cables. Oh, I moved the uh, drawer controller down. I don't know if I remember showing you that, but I just put a, you know, a chest there to collect the items. And then they get moved down here into the system. No big deal. Um, basically, it's just allowing me to... Uh, access this if I so choose, which I'm going to. I'm going to put a thing there eventually. Get that set up. Only so much I've done off camera. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Where's my brain? All right. We needed some things. How's my... Okay, my food's still good. I got all this food into my inventory because I had been working with bees that were stinging me and it was draining my food out. And now I haven't really needed it in a while. Um, I needed cables, right. Specifically, I want the dense cables, which I have to make from those guys. Right, it's the wool that... Oh, no, I have wool. All right, so I need the regular ME cables. You guys? All right, so that means I need you guys. All right, apparently I have enough for almost a stack, for you know, because that's just the way it runs. All right, we got those. Now we need the other parts. I have 51. All right. And then you guys... Well, here, let's hang on to you. We are going to say, I would like that. Bam. We'll go ahead and put you three there. Get a few of you. All right, so that whole mess got me 12 of these cables. So you can see why this, you know, this stuff, you know, is a little bit difficult to make. All right, so let's get these guys running over here. Oh, and even here, I'm already at 12 of 32 channels, so I'm almost half used up on channels just by that setup. All right, we are going here. And then as far as I can this way with those cables. All right. Good, good, good. All right, let's start by getting these things up. So I'm going to need one for you, one for you, one for you. You two are going to use a single one, though, and I will have a, like, input chest for some things. I will have to figure out exactly how I'm doing that, because I think that's going to be there, and then with those, yeah, we'll set this up. Um, and then this will be a start of a new one, so let's see, that'll be one, two, three, four. Hmm, I could have set this up a little bit better. But, oh well, it'll be fine. All right, let's get ourselves five interfaces. Assuming we have anything resembling the parts to make it. So, interface. Well, I have one. So, let's get a few more. Well, that's four. So, I only need to make another one of use. And we'll make this. All right, there we go. We now have five ME interfaces. Uh, I want you... Actually, let's put you there, you there. Um, I'm going to need you eventually. Let's go ahead and get these things started. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of a feature here just in case these things don't want to cooperate perfectly. Uh, we're going to put you two down first. And then I'm going to say, like this. No. There we go. So, this interface will only interact with that machine. There were the occasional problems 
which is why this system got set up in the first place. I think you can go there, right? Yeah, yeah, all right. So we'll set you up to do that. We might have to pump out of these machines, which is going to be a slight issue. There we are. You will only interact with you. All right, now you guys need to go over here. And I will set up a chest next to it. You, however, can come here. Yeah, we need a chest, and then I'm going to need some sort of conduit or piping or something for items. I'll probably use the item conduits. Let's grab those. I only have two of them, but that should be all I need. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, we are also going to need... What was the other item? The chest. Yep, got one of you. Alright, we're going to need... What else did we need? Oh, a filter. Uh, one of that type of filter. Good, I have all the parts for it. Excellent. I happen to have a single hopper in there, so... Good, good. All set up. All done. Alright, let's see here. We want you. And we're going to go ahead and say, just so there's no accidents, you interact with that chest. Uh, you go there and there. This side does nothing. This side does nothing. You are... Insert only on brown. You whoop, are going to be extract on brown, always active. Insert on green. You are extract on green, always active. You are insert on green, always active, because I couldn't ha shouldn't have to extract anything from there. So, oh, you know what? I should probably have two... <clears throat> two filters. Although, actually, what I can do is say, you are higher priority, you get the filter. So this way, anything that I tell it can go into the magma crucible instead of into the fluid transposer will go in there first. And this will just accept anything, which is going to be a lot, mostly buckets, but the reason I'm setting the filter up in the, at all is because of the recipe for, what was it, uh, the, the cryothium, let's see here, cryothium. <clears throat> so the cryothium <clears throat> needs these guys, the blizz powder, that's what I was trying to remember. Now the blizz powder, the way I'm going to be making it, um, where did it go? Ah, fluid transposer, it's just a weird thing for the bucket. So it takes the snowballs and pumps in liquid XP, which we can, of course, get from various means. Um, I'm not going to really go into that. But the main problem with the snowballs is their use. They can be melted down in a magma crucible for water. So the magma crucible would accept them. So we need to filter that out. So no snowballs for you. How are we doing here? What are we doing here? We've got three of these cables. Let's go ahead. Get that hooked up. Now this is going to be all three of these interfaces are now online. This one is not because it's not connected. And this one is not because it's not connected. So let's see if we can't get a little bit more cable. I think I ran out of uh, wool. So let's grab some more string. Oops, I thought I grabbed four. I only grabbed three. There we go. Oh, and now I put one too many. All right. Get you guys in the old standard wool recipe. Bam, I have a bunch of wool. I need to upgrade that. I need to upgrade my upgrade my mob, mob farm. All right, so we're going to be like you, and I want some cables. I do not even have a full stack. That is okay. Nine, I think, will do. All right, because I'm going to want at least three. Actually, I'm probably going to want four. 
of those guys. So we then use you. There we go. That's the recipe I'm looking for. You get in there. Give me all of you. I'll take you guys. All of you I can get. Bam. Done. All right. More cable. Fly down here. I at the very least want to come there. Because you need to be there. And then I can get away sneaking a cheeky little cable in there for you. One of eight channels. You are four of eight channels. You are five of 32. 17. We have used over half the channels on our, our dense cable. So we're going to have to do something slightly different if we actually get to the point where we're all the way over here automating. But now <clears throat> we need to get to the point where we go and make the... Uh, what's it called? Um... Uh, the actual, like, you know, stuff you need for the automation, the patterns and such. All right, let's grab these glowstone dust, because I don't know how much I actually have in my ME system. But now I have 25 more. All right, we're going to hang onto these cables for the moment, just in case. And what we need is... Uh, there is... There are several blocks here. Pattern encoder. Yeah, the pattern encoder is what I need. What am I missing? Crafting table? That's not hard. All right, pattern encoder. Is that right? No, pattern terminal, I think, was what I wanted. Yeah, that's... We'll hang on to you in case I need you for something, but that was not right. All right, so I'm going to need an ME terminal for that. Blah, 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 blah. All right, let's see. Na, na, na. I just need you. Give me a few more of them. Gonna want that, which requires all kinds of things. Formation core, huh? Gonna need a couple items. Just make a few of these to make sure I've got all the stuff. <clears throat> hmm. No, nope, I'm still missing something. Alright, there we go. You, you. I'm still one behind. There we go. Alright, so I still need the crafter crafting table again. This is getting annoying. Alright. Bam, there we go. ME pattern terminal. Crafting Maestro. Now, I am once again... I'm out of glass there. I'm gonna need some more glass here, I think. Because this is not yet hooked up. I should really get it hooked up. Alright, let's see. Enemy pattern terminal. I need more cables. I could theoretically use this one, but I just want a regular, you know, dumb cable. Not a smart cable. Let's get some more U. Get, I'm out of you. All right, I need the flux crystals. <sighs> Always something. So I need quartz. So I need some of you, some of you. No, actually not you. Um, I needed redstone, didn't I? I am slightly short on redstone. Do, 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 do. Let's just kind of... Do I have any in here? No. All right. Just throw you in for a minute. I'm going to need some of, of these. I said some of those, not like all of them. All right, I'll grab you. Actually, we're probably going to want to grab all of you. Anything more? Wow, that's still going. All right. <clears throat> well, I'm definitely getting a bunch of blades. All right, that's probably the end of it. 
we'll give it another moment here just to be sure. All right, good. Let's put you two in. Nope, that's the wrong block. Put you two in. And now hopefully you'll become the redstone I need. Excellent. All right. <clears throat> I am going to need to automate redstone. I don't want to automate the, the, the like, this combustion thing because it's just awkward. But I am going to need to automate some other resources, so I'll have to figure something out for that. <coughs> Apologies again for my uh, coughing and such. All right. There we go, we got that. Let's go ahead and do this. And I have an idea. Uh, let's see. You, you, you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I'll see how much I have first, and then I will grab sand. You done? Yeah, you're done. Alright, so two stacks. Two stacks. We will grab two stacks of sand. And then I will come down here be like, hey, I need this Fluix crystal. Or I need to turn it into Fluix dust. I currently have it exporting to that chest because I was running through some stuff through that was, you know, way bigger. I think I did that on camera. So I don't know why I'm bothering to explain it. Actually, I probably could have used that too, but... You done yet? Yeah, you're done. Alright, let's get the next one going. Just about there, because what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grow the uh, the pure fluix crystals and you know basically double the amount of crystals there because the redstone is mildly annoying, so I might as well go ahead and maximize this since it's not much extra effort. Just do that, do that. And these can actually be turned back into fluix. No, they can't be turned back into fluix dust. That is the major disadvantage of them. Alright, we'll let you sit there for a minute. What else can I do? Oh, I can grab... I've been making more processors. Because at some point we're going to have to go ahead and you know, make the rest of the stuff necessary for this quest. Where's my get a wrench? There you are. Didn't mean to toss that in there. All right. It wasn't in you. I'm over here now. You are not quite done yet. But almost. There we go. Pure Fluix Crystals. Plenty of those to be used for the stuff we're making. All right. Let's do that. I just want a little bit of you. <clears throat> those four will do. I'm going to stick you there. You can go there. All right. So, what I want are patterns. Blank patterns. <laughs> All right. So, what I'm doing is I'll do that. I'll do that. I have now made a pattern of patterns. And I will come... Uh, Man, I keep forgetting that I have to go down two levels, so I keep flying down in that convenient hole, only to find out it's not so convenient. Bam, there we go. So now we have that encoded pattern there. And what I can do is fly over here, be like, hey, I need some patterns. Oh, look, I can now craft patterns. Let's say I want ten. I don't have enough quartz glass. So that is the, currently the problem. So what I'll want to do is grab another pattern and say, hey, I would like the recipe for quartz glass. There it is. And now I can once again fly over here and say, hey, you need to make quartz glass. So now I should be able to once again come over here and be like, hey, I need a pattern, not a spattern. I would like ten, please. And now I know how. Now it knows how to craft the quartz glass. So we should be able to start. However, we don't yet have any crafting CPUs. So that's our next item. So we need CPU. Actually, let's see. Let's just go at applied. All right. So we need. 
these are the craft right so we got crafting units and we got crafting storages these are both important so we want a 4k crafting herpa derp so we need the crafting units there we go there's our crafting unit now we need let's see that's a co-processing unit that'd be good crafting storage crafting monitor i don't need the monitor let's make a 4k which means we're going to need to go through this process again 4K, 4K. Now, 4K crafting storage. Bam. Hey, made the advancement. Next gen crafting. All right. So, this block determines the complexity of the items that we are allowed to craft. So, let's see. You're an IO port. You're this. I want you don't have very much. Should I come off the back? Yeah, we'll come off the back a little bit. But not far. No, I don't really want that there. I want to move you. But I can't move you up. Hmm. Oh, I know what I can do. I should have some colored dyes of some sort. I should have a bit of lapis. And I should have some bone meal, maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Uh, bone meal. Yeah, here we are. We got a piece of bone meal. Take one of you. Oh, no, you have to do this in eights, don't you? <sighs> Which means I need more of those cables. Forget it, we'll rewire it later. I'm just gonna get this thing hooked in for now. We will reorganize this later, that is a terrible place for that, just so you know. Alright. Now I could use a co-processing unit. Do I need a co-processing unit though? Let's find out. It's been a while since I've played with not a carfting. I'm after the pattern anyway. All right. Blank pattern. Let's make ten of them. All right. Crafting CPU automatic. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, there's start. All right. Let's take a look at pattern. Look at that. We're making them. There's six, eight, nine, ten. All right. There we go. All set up. Now I can take these, put these here, and we can start making more items. So let's find something that one of these machines here needs so I can demonstrate that before we finish the episode. And then I can start getting patterns made for a bunch of stuff. Um, I kind of want to do one of these. Let's do that. Um, so what is... Uh, I'm going to have to figure out that ratio on that one. Uh, let's do the thing where we take some glowstone and make a... No, let's do the redstone. I have a bunch over here. All right. Bam, more redstone. All right, so we need... I'm going to need 10 of you and a bucket. What are you doing? Why do I only have... Oh, because I was down in the thing there when I was doing it. All right. Bucket. Good, I have 25 buckets. All right. So now I want to say, in the old pattern thing here, uh, I'm going to kick into processing patterns, so we're doing this different. I want 10 redstone and a bucket. And now let's go see what 10 redstone and a bucket actually gets us. I mean, we all know what it is. But we're going to go, you are all set up with stuff, you have nothing in you, good. Alright, so 10 redstone and a bucket. And while that's doing it, I will go set up the... Um, filter. So I need a redstone. Because while we're waiting on that, we are going to come down here, and I'm going to say, hey, you know, magma crucible, I would like to edit your filters. You are allowed to take redstone. Now... That's really the question. Um, I want to check something. 
I'm not seeing that fluid bucket yet. Okay, it looks like there is no recipes for pushing redstone into uh, the fluid transposer, so that's good. All right, so we got wrong button. Our destabilized redstone bucket. So now we should be able to come right back over here. Be like, hey, you know that recipe I was telling you? It makes a destabilized redstone bucket. Bam. Now, the real test we once this is in. So this will go in this right there. You should have be available now. Let's see if it works. Now it's gonna be really slow, but let's see if it works. All right, I want one destabilized redstone bucket. Please start. Now let's go check on the machine. I can hear it running. You got the bucket. You've got that. All right, so we're also going to have to turn on... Not on that. We need... The back side to actually be that. All right, so that is running super slow. I'm going to want to upgrade these machines, but that's actually part of why I'm teaching the patterns the way I am. Uh, let's see. I'm going to keep this destabilized redstone bucket in my inventory, and we will check in the thing later to see if there's a second one in there. Because I would like to get one more thing done before I wrap up the episode, since I'm already over time, and that is get some gears made. So, let's see. Gear. Do I have any gears here? I do. Let's see, I would like an Electrum Gear. What are you? Oh, that's the factory tech thing that I don't know if it works still or not. All right, Electrum. Do I have Electrum? I do. So I will say one, whoop, one, two, three, four. This thing is a little picky. So four Electrum, make an Electrum Gear. There's our recipe. Let's go down, put it in. We can check to see. All right, that's not running anymore. So instead of checking with that, I will check here. Good, it pulled it out. All right, so you, with your gear casting thing, should now be able to make some Electrum gears for me. Uh, gear. You have an Electrum gear. Let me pull that out. I would like you to craft one Electrum gear, please. Start. I hate how it keeps doing that. Hey, look, it made another Electrum gear. All right, so that guy works. Uh, let's just check and make sure we have our destabilized redstone and it didn't get lost somehow. There it is. Excellent. So now, with those destabilized redstone buckets, whoop, I should be able to make the Electrum blend. Or not the Electrum blend, the, uh, what's it called? Oh, the Signalum. Do signalum blend. That. I don't need that there. Hang on. I want you in this one. Back on crafting patterns. So. Signalum blend like that. That is how you make it. This goes into the regular crafting items like you. And now I'll be able to auto-craft signal and blend. Now we still are going to have to get a uh, you know thing set up so that it can go into here, but that's easy enough because it's you know gonna be just like all these other recipes. It'll be that and some sand and bam, done. Alright. So that is the basics of auto-crafting. In between episodes here, I'm going to set up a bunch more patterns and such. Uh, I won't add any new machines just yet uh, to that line, but you know, I don't think I'm going to need that many more machines, at least not until I start getting into other mods. This is going to be good enough for you know all the you know basic types of crafting stuff, because I've got you know, something to smelt, I've got, you know, something to smelt alloys, I've got something to, you know, 
turn stuff into powder. I've got the fluid transposer magma crucible set up, and I've got my thing for making gears. I might make a second compactor just so I can have it make plates, but I think that's the only new machine I'll add. And, you know, new is kind of in quotes since I already have one. But that is going to do it for this episode. So, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>